Okay, so this is video number 31 in the Red Flags of a Narcissist series. Video 31 is red flag number 31, which is the know-it-all. So this red flag, I really feel like comes out in two very distinct ways. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? This is what I have seen. So I have seen more, of, again, kind of more of the overt narcissists, the outright narcissists, right? where they are just really loud, they're really obnoxious, they are that guy, right? They just really know it all. You could be a doctor and they are arguing with you about, you know, some sort of medical condition. You could be an accountant and they're arguing with you about tax law. Like in their mind, they just really know everything and everybody else around them is an idiot and they go to great lengths to make sure that everybody knows that they are so highly intelligent and that everybody else is an idiot. So they're more kind of like with the with the rest of the behavior traits of more of the overt narcissist. It's more it's more obvious, it's more kind of outwardly done. The covert narcissists um cuz I was thinking kind of long and hard about this this red flag. I this was not a huge red flag in the with the two covert narcissists that I dated. Um, if anything, they came across as very much the opposite. They came across as a very a good teammate or um, humble or you know teachable. They were willing to learn. They, they had this kind of natural curiosity about things. They were both incredibly intelligent. Um, but I, at first I thought, well, I didn't really see them as a know-it-all, but then I began thinking about it and they weren't like that guy. They weren't that loud obnoxious narcissist who had to make sure everybody knew that they knew it all, they were more kind of passive aggressive, which is kind of what they are in general, right? So they would say things, um, they would talk, they would come home and then talk trash about their coworkers or their friends or whatever was kind of going on in their life. And it was sort of like they kind of like, it, you know, at their job, everybody was so, really we should be so lucky that they worked there because they were so smart and they were just surrounded by a bunch of morons or that, um, you know, it was just kind of this martyr hero attitude of that, that they knew it all. And, you know, if they weren't around that everything would collapse or chaos would ensue. Um, so it was more subtle, but it was this, it's, again, it's like the same type of behaviors. It's just the overt ones tend or seem to be more, obvious about it, the covert ones seem to be kind of, they hide it better. So, um, you know, like I said, this one, all the red flags are kind of this whole spectrum of troubling behavior. You may or may not see all of them. You might not see them all to a troubling degree. This one, I, you know, the two that I dated, I don't look back on and think, yep, bingo, that's them. Not at all. Like this really, I'm, I'm even kind of like stretching to see if this red flag was even around in the relationship. It was there, but it really didn't register as anything troubling or noticeable. I have, however, met some narcissists where this is a very obvious red flag for them, where they are that guy, and it's absolutely exhausting to listen to them talk because they just drone on and on and on about how much they know about everything and how they're so amazing. And, um, and you know, it's just, it's almost intolerable and how everybody around them is just, you know, an imbecile and yeah. So, you know, again, narcissists are people, they're all different, you know, even though they have a lot of the same traits. So just keep that in mind. I'll be curious to hear what your experience has been with this red flag. My guess is that people are probably gonna be pretty polarized with it. That they've either really experienced it or maybe they're like me and it really wasn't, you know, hugely prominent. So let me know. And again, my name is Dana, and you can contact me if you have any questions, comments, concerns, frustrations, ideas for videos. You know, you wanna share part of your story, you just wanna say hi, let me know. My email, website, um, support group on Facebook, it's all down below, so just let me know how I can help or, you know, what I can do, so let me know. And um, as always, just love, light and love to you guys. Just, I wish you nothing but peace and healing and um, just know that you are not alone and that you're not crazy and that you can heal and you can move forward in your life okay so take care i will see you soon for the next video
which is number 32, low to no regard for rules or laws. Okay, bye.